Originally, we were thinking about doing something like from maybe Key West up to Point Barrow, and it kind of grew from there. You know, I think I said, you know, I think we can go down the coast, you know, and come come around, you know, go up the up the uh, Porcupine, go up the uh, Rat, and down the Porcupine like Vernon and Clinton done, and then go up the Yukon, and come down the West Coast, and you know, everything Vernon said, well, maybe why don't we just paddle home? We hadn't gone too far, and Vernon flipped over. Vernon got on the back of my boat. And the, the wind and, and the waves are trying to push the boat, you know, to downwind. Well, the next landfall in the direction that the wind was blowing was probably Antarctica. So I was highly motivated. We got up right off the breakers and the helicopter found us. So they lowered the basket, he climbed in, off he went and he recovered real quick. It's better than any trip I've taken. It's better than any race I've been in. You know, we didn't win, you know, and I, I, I've won that race a few times up there, you know, and, and it wasn't about, you know, that. It was just about going through some real, you know, a real tough situation with, with him, you know, and, and to go through that with Connor, that was, that was definitely my, my best race. I feel pretty fortunate that I've been able to paddle as, as much as I, I have. I doubt you could find anybody that's paddled more than I have, actually. For the last 30 years, if you average out my paddling on a daily basis, and I'm talking about year-round, I think it was 56 minutes a day. And you know, it just never gets old for me. So maybe uh, uh, my luck will keep going for a while and I'll keep after it. <laughs>